The cavity feature is a tool used to create simple mold designs within SOLIDWORKS. To show the cavity feature in action, I have modeled a screwdriver that I want to create a mold of. To do this, I am going to insert the screwdriver into a new assembly. Now that the screwdriver is inserted into the assembly, I can go ahead and create my mold base. To do this, I am going to insert a new part into the assembly, and then using in-context modeling, I am going to reference the front plane and begin sketching my mold base. I'm going to create a rectangle encompassing the screwdriver and then round off the dimensions of the rectangle. We'll go to 245 and then we will go to 85 here. Next in this example, I'm going to create half of a mold of the screwdriver and extrude, extrude the rectangle encompassing half of the screwdriver so you can see the effects of the cavity tool. Now that I have my base and part modeled in the assembly, I can use the cavity feature. To access the cavity tool, you can go to insert, features, and then cavity. Or you can simply search for cavity at the top of the screen. Once the cavity manager opens up, you will have the option to select design components. For your design component, you're going to select the screwdriver. You have the options to scale about the component centroids, which scales the cavity for each part about its own centroid, the component origins, which scales the cavity for each part about its own origin, the mold base origin, which scales the cavity for each part about the origin of the mold base, or a coordinate system, which scales the cavity for each part about a selected coordinate system. You also have the option to either do uniform scaling or non-uniform scaling by scaling in the X, Y, or Z direction with different percentages. I can go ahead and hide the screwdriver so we can view the cavity that is formed. As you can see, the cavity captured all the features of the screwdriver, even the indentions on the handle and the little screw inputs at the head of the screwdriver. This can also be done with the mold base completely encompassing the screwdriver. Through repeating the same steps and clicking the screwdriver as the design part using the feature tree, we can now create a cavity inside of the entire mold base. Then, by creating a cut section of the mold base, we can view the cavity that is formed inside of it. In order to obtain two separate molds, we need to utilize the split command to split the mold base into two. To do this, we are going to sketch on the mold base a simple line dividing the mold in half. Once the line is drawn, we can simply search for the split command. Then by selecting the line we just created as a trim tool, we can split the body into two separate bodies right down the middle. From there, utilizing the move body commands, we can move one body away from the other. We now have our two mold halves of the screwdriver representing a complete mold of the screwdriver. The cavity command has helped us perform all of this with ease.